Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and thank you for the super thanks. And thank you for everything for being here and your wonderful comments. Yes. So as we know, Harry is quite the emotional manipulator. I do think he is going to try to play straight with his father, basically to save his own skin. But we do know he's still a damsel in distress like Megan, right? He plays a whole, I'm so wounded, my mommy, my mommy. So we know that they like to focus on the past wounds in order to keep the divorce from reality going that past energy is needed and necessary to remain wounded to remain so wounded everybody's got to help me i'm a wounded child how could you not help me i'm a wounded child here i stand crying how could you let me go and not help me that's how they play it uh richard gannon did a little short about psychopaths that's what psychopaths do richard uh richard ramirez played the wounded game you guys he actually would pl uh, fake injuries with casts and and a crutch just to get women in his little dark matrix so that's what they do they men are really women do it too obviously women do it more in that damsel in distress i'm such a victim you gotta help me my family's horrible i came from a toxic family and i'm all alone i have no family as megan says i have no family well she had a family who who bent over backwards and touched their toes for her in essence and did everything she wanted i have no family so there you hear it from both of them they're both damsel in distresses who keep the past pain alive in order to manipulate and keep the moon energy and being divorced from reality so let's find out what is the current energy between the two of them with their damsel in distress let's do a joint damsel in distress i wonder how they're playing each other what's the conversations of their damsel in distress energy so they really need to to switch up their game plan because this one's just not working anymore more than likely that's what they'll do because their egos won't okay that that approach isn't working i must change my approach I, this didn't work out so well so i need to start over i'll hold on to the past with the with you know a denial and I'll end this adventure, but I got to find a new way to redo this. Uh, I'll let go of this past. So how am I going to do it? That would be sort of like a ten of swords in reverse. That's where like that painful ending, thinking they can rebuild and get them sucked in, would happen after they ba they backstab you. So it'd be more of a ten of swords in reverse where, okay, that didn't go as planned. All right, I'll end that, but I got to restart myself. So how am I going to do it? That's the Ten of Swords in reverse. So let's see. Do we Will we see a Ten of Swords in reverse? There's a few others too, but that's a classic one. Uh, you know, totally denying the past, but recreating uh, history in essence. It, and it's still going to come out as lies. Because with Ten of Swords in reverse, uh, with the ultimate backstabbing, you're going to end up with the Ace of Swords in reverse. So they're going to come out, they're going to come back, and they're going to be very dishonest about about let's try and heal these wounds you know that's the kind of game they want to keep the loop and the cycle going at all costs and they're going to do it themselves they're going to do it with each other because they lack compassion and empathy for themselves why would they have it for anyone else they don't even have it for themselves so there's no way to think that they would have it for you or i is deluded just don't even go there don't even go there Basically, my new saying to myself is, it is what it is, and it is what it isn't, and Megan and Harry isn't. They aren't what they pretend to be, in essence. It never was what people thought it was. They were never what they thought they were. People thought they were someone completely different. In essence, you're dealing with, between the two of them, we're dealing with four personalities because they split. So we're dealing with four different personalities in essence. It's almost like disassociative identity disorder. They have no clue who they are. They pretty much have no personality. Everything's faked. So what is this damsel in distress between each other? What, how are they playing each other? How are they playing each other? What's the game now? What sort of damsel in distress do they say to each other? What's the new, oh, Harry, oh, Megan, oh... Oh, oh, we got to work together now, Harry. Things aren't working out. <laughs> we need to put a plan together. We need to look like professionals, Harry. Maybe we need to grow up. Yeah, 
We need a new team, a team of experts. So they can't work together, so let's put a team together. Yeah, things aren't working out. Uh, she's looking for someone. That's not working out. Harry will want to go in and leave, but it's looking like, okay, we still have more work to do. We have more work. We have to finish this Netflix. We have to finish our contracts. We have to finish, finish, finish. They got a lot of finishing to do. So unfortunately, they still have to communicate. They still have to collaborate, and they're still trying to make the right moves. The challenge is they both want to get the hell out of there <laughs> from each other. Yeah, it's too painful. Once they work or talk or communicate to grow and expand, they get out. They're like, this is done. I'm out of here. So they can't wait to flee. They can't wait to flee from each other. So this is temporary, them pulling this damsel in distress on each other. Uh, they do, and it works on each other. They're both professionals at it, too. They're absolute professionals of the damsel in distress, because that is like a total pro right there with that three of pentacles. That is someone who's who made all the right moves in the past, but now they're not working. So I have to abandon emotional ship on this and get out of here as soon as possible. But we have a little bit more work to do. We are expert. We're at expert level of damsel in distress. It has worked like a charm. Wow, was that great. But now we've got to, we got to abandon ship on it and just really get out of here. So they do need to get out of that. They got to get out of the damsel in distress. No one wants to hear their pity play. No one wants to hear their... They're whining, whinging, and moaning. No more whining, whinging, and moaning. So we do know that they decided they need to take a step back from it and get out of that emotional headspace. Subconsciously, oh, we need to pretend. This will be pretend. This isn't going to be real. Subconsciously, they are wanting to drive themselves here. Will they be able to accomplish it? Not likely. But subconsciously, they're driven to be professionals, and to be very uh, loyal to it. They're going to surrender. Surrender themselves and accept the consequences. Ah, we got to break the old pattern of being the damsel in distress. We can't do that anymore, Harry. We need to release that damsel in distress and adopt a new way of behaving. We need to think of something different. Let's hang out and think about it. Hmm. Do you want to talk about it? How are we going to talk about this? We, we, we need to figure out a way. And we also need to sacrifice ourselves. We need to create new things. So we are actually going to have to dedicate ourselves and look like professionals and actually maybe put in some work, but then we can bolt on each other. So it's really temporary. They want to bolt. They want to emotionally bolt from each other. But we have to pretend that we're still together in the meantime because of the contracts and the money that we need to bring in. So they're really all about bringing in that pentacles. The three pentacles is making the right moves to make more money and financial growth. There's her damsel in distress. Yeah, there it is. There's the escort card too, and she was an escort. She doesn't want her escort days coming out. Uh, her escorts could talk about her too and communicate about her, and that's another reason why she wants to get out of Tarnation. She's like, I got to get out of here. Her escort days and the guy she hooked up with as a professional escort is making her want to flee too. And she was very dedicated and planned to it. And this is also where she, she used it on the men too. This is like an old maneuver, an old game of hers. It's definitely her escort brain. <laughs> hate to say it, but it is. It's the escort brain of, please help me, I'm so weak and I'm so vulnerable. Oh, can I smother you in love? I can love you to pieces. I can make you work better because I will love you. I will love you. But she's selling herself short. It is subconsciously driven. This whole like damsel in distress thing is primarily Megan, not Harry. So she's really the damsel here. But Harry also has a lot of feminine energy since he is a king of wands in reverse. He's that beta male. So I could see him being that female energy of damsel in distress too because he's definitely no beta male. He's a very weak individual. Here we go, like Megan, very weak individual, really manipulating, real, real manipulator. So she does get into deep depression. When she gets into deep depression, she pulls out, out of the handbag of tricks her damsel in distress because she's a covert narcissist. It's a covert narc game. She'll always be a covert narc game. She will always play the covert narcissist who's going to flee. She's always, she's a parasite. Uh, with the Six of Swords, that's basically uh, in the Joseph Magi um, deck and his book, the Six of Swords, which I know he's not uploading lately from what I'm seeing and hearing. Uh, too bad. Uh, I did like him. Anyways, here we go. Six of Swords leaving. 
Uh, she does it. She gets what she wants. She gets connected. She drains the money and then she flees. So that's how she gets her riches by playing poor, poor me. So she's, she's playing on Harry, 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 we can't leave yet. We got to look like we're still together because we're broke. We're broke. We have not got that positive legacy yet. We need that positive legacy. My legacy is not looking too sharp here. Her legacy is a negative legacy. So it's challenge fuel for her to keep him around before the, her little parasite leaves. She's a parasite. You know, this is a total parasite here. Incubus, succubus, sort of like a double parasite. This person is always in emotional pain. They're always thinking that they're right. And I'm just going to go recover and leave. I'm going to recover and leave. That is after, after the person created war, violence, uh, resentment. That's why this is a very dark person. This is why this is not really an innocent person saying, I got to get out of here. No, because what they did before they do this is they do a five of swords. Everyone's an opponent. Everyone's against me. Nobody will give in. I can't get what I want. Does it sound familiar? She can't get what she wants. She get, she's going to create war and then she's going to flee. So that's why she's the parasite who comes in, creates problems. She reduces families to, sh to uh, rubble. She takes a perfectly happy family and reduces them and shatters them and causes nothing but legal fights, breaks. So there is a divorce coming because this is a divorce position and then she will leave. But we can't do it just yet. The divorce is coming. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We've got this juggle struggle going on. Uh, we need to cope. We need to somehow balance things for the time being. It's, it's, we've got to adopt. We've got to somehow keep it going. But it's, it's, it's barely worth it. It's only a two. It's still first step. So it's barely worth it. She's not getting the great riches. So she really, they really are focused on the damsel in distress. So they still do it. That's what, what, what is their gig? That's how they, that's, that's how they stay together. We are the damsel in distress partnership. We are the partnerships of professional damsel in distress who always is going to flee. Be, we, you know, we're parasites. We're going to get what we want. We're going to flee. Yes, you will. Because we're a mental prison. She wants to keep them in the mental prison in the mental loop. There you go. I'm a victim. I'm a, I'm a poor little child. You can't leave me like this, Harry. Harry and Megan, you can't leave me like this either. How are we going to figure this out? I suppose we need to change our plan here of how we're going to make this work. Wow, we're caught up. We could go to prison. We could go to jail, Megan. So this is why she's falling apart. This is why he's falling apart. They want to avoid literally getting in prison. Uh, they're obsessed over words, actions, past actions, and how are they going to communicate and actually be liars and act like a victim. How are we going to do this to avoid this? We have doomed thoughts. What are we going to do? Negative emotions. We're really worried about the commentary, the communication, the questions they're going to ask us. So the really, and they did it to themselves. This is self-sabotage. They sabotage themselves. She knows it, but she's going to play victim. I'm a victim, but I'm a professional victim. Don't you know it? And that is our gig, Harry. We are parasites and we do it everywhere we go. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh no. We got the worst case scenario, Harry. Everybody sees us as losers. We're losers. We were lucky and now we're unlucky. No one wants to give us money. No one wants to do business with us. Fate is not on our favor. We are going down the wrong road. Nothing is coming in. We have not won the lottery of life together as a couple. This is why we're getting a divorce. This is why we're both suffering little little, uh, little children here. Very arrested development. No dualities. No new emotional sparks. Don't, don't love you. Uh, I don't even want to see you. I don't want to see you, so that's why I got to leave you. Uh, and nothing's going right. So she thought that playing damsel in distress would win the money a lot. She thought she'd get lucky. She thought she could literally hit the jackpot. She didn't hit the jackpot. It, she lost. So she went down the wrong direction. Very negative karma. Very negative karma. So now they're going to try to play strong. Let's play strong. Let's pretend. This is pretend. It's not real. They're going to pretend to trust each other. They're going to try to trust each other. They're going to try to be peaceful. Let's make it look like we're still together. Let's make it look peaceful. We got to make it look peaceful. We got to change the perception of people, uh, what they see in us. So the only way to change the perception is to stay together, make it look like we're dedicated and loyal to each other, and that we're in peace, that no one may like us. Things might be going horrible, 
but we're going to be at peace. We're not going to be loud and abrasive, Harry. We're going to try to have that lion courage and be gentle. We're not going to force people. We can't be control freaks. So they're going to try to change directions. So things aren't working out. So they're going to try to spin this differently because this is a spinning wheel. They're going to try to spin that they're strong and they have high integrity and high, high character and they're not control freaks. That they're not control freaks by damsel in distress of victimhood. The final outcome, no one's going to believe it. No one's going to believe it. They won't trust them. Uh, whatever it is, it's seduction. It's unrequited love. They don't love each other. They have a fear of getting involved with everyone. Nobody wants them. They don't even want to get involved with each other. Their emotions are truly not being shared. The only thing they truly share is the victimhood. So that's that back to, uh, you know, I'm wounded, I'm broken, and just using that. That's really all they talk about. They don't share their, their loving, romantic feelings. There is no romance. There is no falling in love. The whole relationship was a was a bad joke. The whole relationship was built on the damsel in distress energy and getting out of getting out of there. They were never going to stay royals. They were never going to work work as royals. We know this, so it's just coming back to haunt us here. It's coming back to haunt them that they never were in love. They never have been in love. It was all platonic love of damsel in distress. So the whole connection was platonic. It's just about their victimhood. And so they're talking about that. How can we spin this? They want to spin it, but no one's going to believe it. Everyone's going to say, yeah, they're bad emotional news. Let's just keep them in reverse. Let's keep them so that nothing's going to spin in their favor. We don't want a good positive turning point for them and let them get lucky. Uh, the universe basically is saying, no, we don't believe you. And the world saying, no, you're not going to get lucky with us. We, we're not accepting whatever offer or whatever change of direction. We're not buying it. So basically the game's up for them. Everybody knows they're incubus succubus. They're always going to leave thinking, I have to get out of here. <clears throat> no one wants them because they're nothing but pain and suffering. And that's also at the bottom of the deck. After pulling all that, I've got this. Because all they're going to do is betray you. So they use damsel in dis distress to cause heartache, pain, grief, suffering. Basically, this is a scourge. They will work against you. They're chronically sick. They're chronically sick with poor emotional growth. They can't love. It's all platonic. And they just cause emotional pain. And it's because pain is love. For Harry being borderline, pain is love. So that's why we see this here. And it's also for Megan too. Pain equals love. Uh, it's also because Megan experienced pain as love when her mom dumped, basically did her thing, ended up locked up in prison. She had an early, early childhood emotional pain. And that's what they're going based on. They're going based off their old wounds. I got to keep the old wounds going. Focus on the past in order to keep the moon energy and basically become death-like with me, lose yourself with me. This little mini death keeps the hook and the bait of getting other people into our mirroring of lies game. You're a possession in my moon energy of disassociation and mental illness. So basically through their mental illness, not feeling loved when they were children, feeling emotionally depleted, not getting what their needs were. So he always felt like his needs weren't met. I'm sure they tried with him, but it just kind of missed its mark on him. I'm not blaming the family. Many times it's because the kid already had a mental illness that was undiagnosed at that time. They were struggling. It wasn't recognized. It wasn't acknowledged. Maybe the kid lied and said, nope, I'm fine. I, I'm, I'm really okay. And, and brush it aside where that grew and grew and grew to the point where the child decides to betray everyone because they're chronically sick because they won't acknowledge that they're platonic. So then they hurt everyone because I didn't get my needs met. Uh, they triangulate everyone. They're always going to have ongoing issues of hurting everyone they touch. Everyone they touch, they're going to triangulate and they're going to break you. And everyone will feel an emotional loss and realize, wow, I got played. Wow, did I get played. So you can't ever trust these types. This damsel in distress will always break you. They break you because they because you love them. And they they do it because they anticipate that pain is love. Love is pain. So I'm going to break you before you break me. 
I'm going to use you, and then I'm going to leave you. So this really is that cluster B defense mechanism at play on the table here. And that's really how they operate. You love me, I'm going to break you. How dare you love me? I'm not lovable. You can't possibly love me. You're hurting me by loving me, so I got to destroy you. And that's really what it is. They're so weak and vulnerable and so um, covert narcissist that they, they don't feel lovable. So this is why they will break you and crush you is because they're emotionally detached. Being emotionally detached, having that, that's why I say that four of cups card, the four of cups upright, and even four of cups in reverse. You want to be very, um, you want to be very cautious with these people because they don't connect. They're very disconnected. They reject love. It's also with the narcissist card. It's basically an art card. It's basically an antisocial card. It's actually kind of schizoid. Schizoid. Schizoids can love, but very few people. So that's why it's that covert narc. I feel four of cups is covert narc. They're very aloof. There's no emotional investment. Kind of like this. There's like no emotional investment here, like the Four of Cups. And with the lack of emotional investment and this emotional indifference is why they're going to crush you. It's why they're going to take down any happy family. So this is where Megan's first husband's family, and people have been mentioning this, really dodged a, dodged a bullet. So did Trevor. Trevor really was blessed that she dropped him like a hard rock. He must be breathing a sigh of relief. Thank God you dumped me. And the other family, the lawyer family, really got in to save their son. Wow. Wow, did he just... They saw in her being lawyers, being intelligent, highly intelligent people who have the ability to dissect human emotions. A lot of lawyers, highly skilled lawyers, do learn psychology. That's probably why they were able to see through Megan in the early, very early stages to the point they were able to get rid of her and get an annulment. Uh, and so smart people can see through it. So the more intelligent friends that Megan and Harry associate with who are highly educated, they can't pull the wool over their eyes. They need people who are highly emotional and wounded themselves uh, in order to play on them. So that's why they go to your wounds, my wounds. They're going to go to the wounds to suck you in and bait you in. But if a person's emotionally strong and healthy, they will still try as challenge field, but it's so much more hard because that person will probably have a breakthrough insight. That person will see through it. And so that's why it doesn't work. The higher educated the friends are, the more likely it's going to fail in a nutshell which is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. That's why education is power. And that's why I do what I do. That's why I'm doing this. So people don't get hooked into this, the, the toxicity of them. The other thing I need to mention is if you were in this position where you didn't feel loved as a child, I did do some reading on that. Unfortunately, when it comes to someone who, let's say they didn't feel loved as a child, weren't told they were loved as a child, they fall prey to antisocials often. This is if this child did not become antisocial themselves. Maybe they come out being uh, a very sensitive person, you know, a page of cups upright kind of energy where they... They really are sensitive dreamer and they're really hopeful they can find love because they weren't loved as a child, but they don't go dark. They're still kind of timid and shy, but but they got their head up in the clouds and they're hoping that love is there and love, love will find me. Those kind of people end up in the hook of people like Megan and people like Harry who will take you down. Uh, unfortunately, because they do have their head up in the clouds. And when someone like Megan or Harry comes along, plays that wound, that little page of cups upright will feel, has that high empathy, will be like, well, let me fix you. Let me come in and help you. And so that, that person's very prone to unfortunately marrying a type like Megan or Harry, a borderline, a very dark borderline, a petulant borderline, uh, an, a narcissist, antisocial, sociopath, they're very more likely because they're going to want to heal that little wound because they'll play that little wound. And that little page of cups that didn't get loved as a child is going to think, wow, this person's love bombing me, yet they're wounded. I should go in and help them. Let me fix you. Let me, let me nurture you back to health. 
let me take care of you. And that's why they get ensnared. So anyways, that is out for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a little something. Until next time, like and subscribe and thank you for being here and thank you for all the love and comments. Until next time, bye you guys.